is Flannel Acres, your creative home connection. Be sure to stay connected by subscribing and leaving me some comments and stuff. I want to tell you about four very important tips about foraging. But before we do that, if you're new to foraging, I want you to comment down below the word moss. And if you kind of know some stuff about foraging, comment down below the word acorn. And if you are an expert at foraging, comment down below the word morale. All right, so the first tip is learn. Now that might seem obvious, but um, I mean the internet is a great resource for learning about all kinds of wild edibles, but I feel like you need to get outside to the outdoors and observe things, look around, learn about the plants in your area, um, get some books from the library. Books are very helpful as well, and if you find some that you really like, go ahead and purchase some. Uh, but it's really important to be outside and looking around you, observing things, and one thing I want to stress is to observe things year round. So the plant that you see sprouting out of the ground in April or May will probably look very different come August or September. And the plants may have different uses, um, different nutritional values, um, depending on what stage of growth that they're in. So it's important to observe these things and learn about the plants, not only um, just when they're full grown, but when they're sprouting, you know, all different stages of the growth of the plant. And the second tip is to leave them alone. There are certain areas that are restricted like nature preserves and private property. Make sure you're not trespassing or going in an area that you shouldn't be in. Also make sure that what you're harvesting is something that's not endangered or protected and making it illegal for you to do so. Um, just make sure you're identifying things properly. The third tip is to limit. Now when you're out foraging, you likely find things that are growing kind of in bunches or patches. You wanna leave some behind, don't pick them all. Um, you want to make sure that they can continue to grow and reproduce as well as you probably wanna leave some for other foragers as well if people are coming to that area too. So don't take them all for yourself, just take the just enough that you need or if you're just trying it, just take a little bit. And the last thing is to love the land. We've been blessed with so much and just be careful where you step, where you walk, take care of things and make sure you pick up after yourself. Leave things better than you found it. So there you go, four very important tips that everybody should know if they're gonna be foraging. And I'm sure that this is not an exclusive list. If you have more tips for the rest of us, please leave some comments down below. Or if you're new to foraging and you have more questions, leave those below too and we'll share with each other and keep connecting. I'll catch you guys later. Bye.